This obviously is a Nissan Frontier. You know this truck, it's been around for, well, almost 10 years, but there is something very special and it's hidden under the hood. Let me give you a clue. Let me start it up and you listen. Yep, does that sound familiar? That's because it's a diesel, a new Cummins 2.8, well, somewhat new, that is specifically put into this mule to test how a Nissan Frontier would do with a diesel engine. And guess what? I'm gonna get to drive it. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Wow, Chris, it's a Frontier, but it's not. It's got a Cummins. Tell me about it. It is a Frontier, but it's got a Cummins in it, a 2.8 liter Cummins turbo diesel uh, with around 200 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque, uh, and it's tied to an 8-speed ZF transmission. So we think with, with this powertrain, we're looking at probably a 35% uh, fuel economy improvement versus a comparable V6 uh, gas Frontier. So this is the, uh, the show truck that was revealed at the Chicago Auto Show this year. Uh, got a lot of positive response, both from the media uh, and consumers. Uh, they really like the concept of the truck. There you go, get a close-up of the, the, the Cummins badge. Yeah, now, uh, you sell Frontiers in the rest of the world with these engines, right? But they're not Cummins. We do, and they're not Cummins. They're, they're typically uh, Alliance motors, uh, kind of the Renault, Nissan Alliance uh, diesel powertrains. Uh, but we've got a, a very strong working relationship with Cummins with the new 5 liter that's coming out in Titan. It'll be revealed uh, at Detroit next year. So I think this is just uh, you know, the next step in that relationship, trying to understand where else could we uh, use diesel powertrains, uh, particularly Cummins diesels. Now Chevy has announced that they're of course putting a diesel in their new Colorado Correct. and GMC. Um, does that give you any indication as to whether you should come to market with one? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good first indicator. Um, you know, there's been a lot of you know, strong requests. Well, look, there it is. There, yeah, there's the evaluation mule. So that's the one we're going to take out, right? Absolutely. All right, we are in a frontier, but it's got a difference. Listen, guys, here we go. Oh, it shakes, it rattles, and it rolls! It does. <laughs> <laughs> you let me turn that down a little bit. Absolutely. And that's because, what's under the hood? Uh, a 2.8 liter Cummins diesel. So sweet, so sweet. And is this the same one that's in the show truck that we were just looking at? Uh, it is. All right. Yeah, roughly 200 horsepower, approximately 350 foot-pounds uh, in the same uh, ZF transmission. How many speeds? Uh, eight, eight, eight speed. speed. So yeah. eight speed. Keeps light it right duty, in the sweet spot. Light duty diesel Frontier. How cool is that? You good? Okay, thank yes, you. Take care. All right, let's take it for a little bit of a ride. You guys have any... Um, testing on this in terms of how much it will tow. I'm, I'm sure I'm asking questions that you're not going to give me answers to. But. Right, exactly. I think we're, we're saying, you know, comparable to V6 towing, although we haven't done a lot of, you know, tow evaluations with this at this point. This, this track actually doesn't even have a tow hitch on it. Right. Um, but we would expect similar performance to uh, a V6, but just obviously better fuel economy diesels are, are much better at retaining fuel economy uh, figures under load. Yeah, of course. And you know, the one feeling I get immediately... Um, it drives like a Frontier. It does? Yeah, so it's a Frontier, but it's much more relaxed. It does change the character of the truck, I think, to the better. It feels like a little, I don't know, like a, a, a workhorse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it just, it's just putting along here. Uh, I'm at 1,500 uh, RPM, uh, doing about 30 miles an hour. It just feels really relaxed and really, uh, really uh, easygoing. Let me see if I floor it. 
Oh, instant torque. Look at that. Absolutely. <laughs> it gets out of its way. <laughs> it's good, man. It does. It's good. That's at 300. How many horsepower? 200 horsepower. 200 horsepower, but you're, you're really feeling that 350 foot pounds of torque. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's on the rear wheels, of course. Oh, well, it's going to be fun working on this program. Yeah, it's been it's been fun to see it. We we've, we've worked on this over a year now before the the show truck was revealed. So it's not a response to the Chevrolet Colorado. We were working on it before they they revealed their truck. Um, Fair enough. Very excited about uh, you know the potential and the, the consumer reaction has been very very positive uh, from day one at the reveal. Now of course you know diesel's a little bit more expensive, but then the uh, improved MPG is what makes the value proposition worthwhile. Talk to me about kind of um, this engine. Has it been specifically developed for this uh, application or has it been used for somewhere from somewhere else? Yeah, so the the actual block is based on a global motor that, that Cummins builds yep. um, for both on-road and off-road uh, or off-highway use. Mm -hmm. um, but the top half of the motor is completely unique, and I can't really go into the specifics of what's unique with Oh, it. come on. Yes, you uh, can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm covering up the lens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep talking. Um, <clears throat> I try, guys. I really try. <laughs> um, but so it's unique to the... To yeah, this. so they, the, the one in this truck and the show truck are really the only two in the world that exist uh, in, this, in this configuration. Um, but the, the engine itself, the block's been proven already, and... and uh, no, it's actually this, in a in a pickup that sold globally, is not this, in the U.S. Is this engine block heavier than the equivalent? Uh, I think what, what the three point five is in here normally, right? Uh, it's a four liter V six. Yeah, uh -huh. so uh, this uh, it is heavier. Yeah. Um, it's an iron block, so um, you're going to have a, a bit of weight. Um, there's there's that balance with diesel engine. You know, Cummins can do uh, a number of things to reduce mass, but then the, that also increases you know the potential cost of the engine. So it's it's the balance of what components to use to get get the economy, get the durability, the quality, um, but also you know achieve you know an appropriate price uh, for the engine. And uh, I'm just going to ask you really basic questions because I don't know a lot about this truck. So sure, 2.8 liter common rail turbo diesel. Turbo diesel. Um, do you expect the longevity to be a little bit higher than the uh, four liter? I mean, uh, diesels in general tend to have a little bit more stamina when it absolutely. comes to... Absolutely. You know, we, we have done no you know, long-term durability testing at this point, uh, but given Cummins' reputation, I think you know, this engine would last a, a very long time. <laughs> yeah, I got to think It's pretty that, quick. Are you having yeah, fun? Are having fun? <laughs> I got to think that uh, you're going to see at least, I would say, and I'm pulling this number out of my hat or butt, I guess, <laughs> but I would think it's at least a 30% improvement in towing capacity. Yeah. I'm trying, guys. I, I know you're trying, so I, I won't comment more than it would be you know, pretty comparable to, to a V6 uh, today. What's the V6 still today? What's this so it just depends on configuration. It's around 6,500 pounds. 6,500, yeah. yeah. So you're going to have to come out with like 8,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Higher payload. It sounds like what you really want is the 5 liter V8 and the Titan. <laughs> Yes, it, yeah, but you have you can't talk about that either because you're introducing that next year. Yeah, we're introducing that at Detroit. All right, so let's sum this all up. What we know so far, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna. And if you want to interrupt me summing this up, feel free. So okay. we, know, we know that we have a Cummins 2.8 turbo diesel common rail under the hood that's heavier than the standard engine that's in the Nissan Frontier. Correct. The heavier than the V6. Right. Today. Yep. We know that it's going to get better fuel economy because it's a diesel. Absolutely. Uh, we know that it's going to have similar towing capacity to the six-cylinder, which is 6,500 pounds. Correct. Or more. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> we know that it's going to cost something. It will cost something. <laughs> and I would suspect there'll be a premium on the diesel because that's the way that Chevy's pricing it, and that seems to be obviously the way that heavy duties are priced. So, Right. They're, it's a long way. Now we're really yeah, down the road. Yeah, certainly. Uh, what do you guys need to figure out before you'll actually build this and, and sell it? Yeah, so there are a number of factors. Uh, just wondering, you know, determining what, what the sales mix would be, what's the volume potential, what's, what, you know, there, there's a lot of interest in the product, would that translate to sales? So that's that's our job to figure out what, what would be those figures, you know, what would the performance uh, characteristics need to be, what would the numbers need to be uh, to make it feasible. I gotta think in the rest of the world, like in Europe and in South America, where you do sell uh, a diesel version of the Frontier, that's gotta be the most popular pickup. Yeah, I, or if not the only one. Yeah, the the Global Frontier, the uh, 
the Navara, it uh, it does very well abroad for sure. Yeah, yeah, and then of course, you know, there's also the issue that this platform is kind of long in the tooth. It's been around for, gosh, well, ten years at least. Yeah, it launched a 2005 model year, but we've done a lot to update the truck, uh, and sales are up as well. So, last year to this year, our sales are up 22 uh, percent. So. Uh, I think the, the customers are really appreciating what we've done. So things like navigation and heat of cloth seats and rear sonar, we've all added that in the last couple of years to remain competitive. So you keep upgrading it, keep making yeah, it better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, did you have to shoehorn the diesel in or is it a pretty good fit? Yeah, the, the Cummins crew can speak more to that, but uh, we, I think everyone was surprised how well it fit uh, given that this was a, a gas V6 Frontier when it started out live. Yeah, <laughs> it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> but is it made at corporate headquarters at Nissan? That's, that's a bigger question, I guess. Yeah. I'm a, you know, I'm a I'm just a huge fan of diesel uh, because obviously uh, a lot of uh, torque, good fuel economy. It's what a truck should be. Yeah, and I think a lot of truck customers in the U.S. particularly they like that sound of the diesel. Yeah, uh, they want you know both then their passengers and the, the folks outside to know they're driving a diesel truck. And what's, so. what's amazing about this is it's very quiet, you know, it's very loud outside, but for a mule, uh, this is incredibly uh, quiet in here. I mean, we're talking and you, you can barely hear the diesel. Yeah, I think even at speed, you know, there's been no uh, NVH noise vibration, uh, you know, worked on to, to tune out some of the noise. So this is straight, the, the package that comes from the V6. And, you know, it's very livable in here day to day, just as it is right now, and this is a very kind of early uh, spec evaluation. Here. So, is there any question I haven't asked that I should be asking? I think you covered everything that I'm allowed to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you're not. <laughs> What's your personal favorite part of this truck when you get to drive it? Uh, I just love the uh, the character change of the vehicle. So, the V6 is is a little bit more sporty yep. uh, in driving dynamics. Uh, a little it revs a little bit higher. Aggressive. Yeah, it revs higher, a little bit more aggressive throttle application. Watch out for uh, the, the wild turkeys. Yeah, whatever those are. No, those wild are. turkeys. Yeah, look at that. Um, but it just—it feels like a little workhorse. I feel like I can do a lot with it. It's—it's it's just. Uh, I love the character. Yeah, and I think people would love the fact that they wouldn't have to stop at the pump as often, right? Because you're going to get a lot more range out of. Yeah, even if it was the same size fuel tank, your good. your your range would be significantly higher if you know the 35 percent fuel economy improvement versus the V6. And that, uh, it, it all boils down to you know. Diesel engines are expensive. Uh, it's a competitive market. Can you guys sell them at a price point that is competitive with where the market's at right now? Right. It's it's got to make sense for the customer. Yeah. Yeah, and the company. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this truck, uh, you know, write down the comments. I'm sure you can take a look at them and, and you can get a, a gauge of what our readers and viewers think of uh, a Nissan Cummins light duty pickup uh, uh, turbo diesel. Common rail, four cylinder, yada, 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 you know the rest. So, would you buy a Nissan Frontier with a Cummins diesel, even if there were a slight price premium? You know what? I'm sure Nissan would love to know. So, in the comments, let us know what you think. Is this a good idea? Should Nissan be competing with Chevy in the light duty diesel market? That can be something that you can directly affect, perhaps. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more truck news views. And of course, real world reviews. How cool is that? I got to drive a Nissan Diesel Frontier. You Europeans, I know you're used to it, but here in America, it's cool.